Hi everybody. Today's video is a comparison of the two major ball and socket joints in the body at the shoulder and hip. So let's start with the shoulder. So when I say the shoulder, I'm actually just talking about part of the shoulder joint complex, the glenohumeral joint. There's a lot more mo movement that happens at the shoulder and you can watch a video on all of that, the other joints that make up the shoulder complex. But I'm just talking about the glenohumeral joint today. Here's the humerus and the glenoid fossa of the scapula or shoulder blade. And you can see that the glenoid fossa meets with or articulates with about a third of the head of the humerus. It's pretty shallow. It's a small, shallow joint, not really a socket. In contrast to the hip or coxal bone, you can see how deep that socket is. It's like more like a true socket. In fact, its name, acetabulum, comes from cup shape. Here's the femur with its large, more truly rounded head. And that's gonna take about two thirds of that head, coxofemoral joint. Much more deep, much more stable. And it has this cool thing here. You can see this right here is for a ligament that comes out of there and it actually attaches deep in the socket here. And so it's not only deeper and more solid, more stable, it actually has a ligament that holds that in there tight. So it's pretty concrete, solid, stable joint. So again, in comparison, the, the glenohumeral joint at the shoulder is much more mobile. In fact, it's the, it has the most freedom of movement of any joint in the human body. And second to that then would be the hip joint. They're both truly synovial, diarthrotic, um, completely mobile joints in, in three different planes. But again, the shoulder joint is much more favored toward mobility, whereas the hip joint is favored toward stability. And you can see that again reflected in our evolution. We have stood up on two legs and we use our hands now. They are free from bearing weight and we want more movement, range of motion in the shoulders. We can um, pick apples and text and do all kinds of things with our hands. Whereas our hips are bearing all that weight, all of the weight of our upper body comes down into the hips, down through those coxofemoral joints, into the thighs, into the legs, into the feet. And we're standing with all that weight on those legs. So that's a major uh, difference in those joints and hope that was interesting for you. Bye.